All right, guys. Let's get into this. Because on YouTube, TG so good. On Reddit, NLSC, Operation Sports, Twitter, um, all kind of stuff. Anyway, let's move on. All right, we're going to jump into creative players. Somebody asked me about creative female players. First and foremost, you got to be on PC if you want to be able to create one. I am using patch 5. I do not rock with patch any patches after 5, all right? But I can give you the link to patch 5 if you want. I do have all the other patches on backed up on my PC, but anyway. Female players, female players. So I'm on create a player. If I click on this female player here, go to edit player. Ah, oh, shoot. My controller just went out. Hold on one second. I got a shortage of my cord, man. This is messed up. How much is a cord? How much is the Xbox One cord? Because I'm not paying $60. This is crazy. Oh, my goodness. Hold on one second, guys. Sorry. All right, I think I got my controller back. All right, sorry about that. Oh, my, my core has a shortage in it. Yeah, <sighs> sucks. Anyway, so I click on edit player and it's supposed to be a female, but she's invisible, all right? But if I go to the male edit player, then he comes up perfectly fine. So that's the thing. The females will not show in edit player. And how do you even get a female in the first place? All right, so let's go through all of these. Let's go to remove changes. All right, so let's say you're in create a player. You want to create a female. Um, you're going to have to do import player DNA. You have to be on PC. I've already uploaded a female player DNA, so we're going to go to load. Now I've got tons of player DNA, so I got to scroll all the way down. So I've got three females that you can choose from that are online. So I'm going to choose CC Vibrations. And I'm just going to import everything. It's going to go invisible great that's great that's fine so what i've got for you guys today is in the description i'll have a link to these files let's see it says jerseys free agent and creator player female let me activate that all right go over to this Ah, there we go. She looks like a goofball. All right, so, but you guys can see. All right, she's kind of messed up. I need to fix her um, her skin because it's like dark arms with a lighter face. I need to fix her. I have to do that on my own. Um, all right, so what we're going to do is, actually, I need to load up a different, female one that can, is actually editable i forgot cc is not editable in game I have to edit her outside the game so we're going to do a cre female created player which is actually what i should have started with so we're going to pick this one and i'll go through everything because she has appearance so i'm going to edit head don't go to a different head shape because the hair will be removed um I mean, don't go to a different preset head shape. You can choose a different skull, but don't choose different hair in game either. Don't choose a different preset head and also don't choose different hair in game. That is where the cheat engine um, will come into play. You can change the female hair in cheat engine, which you'll see later. So right now I'm going to go through these options and show you what you can change because she looks pretty goofy right now. And I mean, it just looks like a bad creative player. So I'm going to go through chin options and uh, nose, lips, 
eyes, ears change, make it look more like a female. And um, that's what we're going to do. I might change that hair up for sure. So let's find some lips that will look decent. I'm just going to go through a ton of options. Those look decent. But I'm just going to keep going for the sake of the video. So you guys, when you guys try to edit this, <clears throat> just remember, do not select hair. Do not change the female preset head shape. <laughs> okay. So you can find my my female player DNA. Use the Kaiser Gondrezic or use the female curly hair or whatever it says. The one the other one that's not CC vibrations. And you will have editable females characters. Alright, so trying to mess with the cheek. Alright, it's looking a little better. They have some decent noses, so let's go through these. Mm, thought about using that one, but the eyes are what really, the eyes and the ears in combination really mess this face up. So I'm for sure going to change those. They look a little too small for a female character. I like that nose, I like that nose. Like this nose. To be honest, it's very interesting messing around with the female characters. I think this whole creative player suite is really good. I've seen some great creations. Just the other day, somebody created the baby, and I I just shared that on 2K DNA. You guys should check that out on Reddit, the 2K DNA subreddit, 2K DNA, all one word. But anyway, so. Now I'm going to change the ears so that her face is framed a little better because those ears were super small. All right, eyes. This should make a huge difference because these eyes are little. Oh, well, there we go. Yeah, those too little. Hmm. Yeah. You know what would have made this face more feminine? I guess eyelashes. Well, you know what? A lot of females don't have fake eyelashes. I think we get so used to seeing like females with super long eyelashes because of all the apps that are out that changes um, people's facial features to make them look more masculine or more feminine. Like all the apps when people that people used to take a picture with their phone and then the picture comes out kind of not looking like them. All right, let's change up the skin. Uh, that one looks pretty good. Yeah, we don't want to go for the pale look. Let's see what these other darker tones look like. She looks like a girl from um, when she turned to the side in that skin tone. The, the girl from 13 Reasons Why. Anyway, uh, let's keep going. I like this one. Need different eyebrow color, which I'm not willing to change. Also, don't change hair. Don't change the hairstyle and don't change the hair color. In game, I've got the cheat engine, which I'm going to show you guys in just not just a second, but I'm going to show you guys in a little while how to change their hair color. Because, yeah, with this face, I'm definitely going to change your hairstyle. Now, right now, what you're seeing is like me trying to test out the blemishes and freckles. Now, you're if you're. I've already done a video because I updated the blemishes in the game and I updated the freckles in game. I updated the pock marks in game. So that's why mine may look a little bit different from what yours actually look like. I actually had a download link for you guys to have those same textures as what mine show like. Anyway, I'm not going to use any of that stuff. And yeah, so I can't remember if I told you guys, but I'm going to have a, I think I did tell you guys, that free agent, that female free agency jersey that makes the female show up. I'll have the link to that down in the description. Let's change up our shoes. Now, these shoes are from um, Kixology. You know what? I forgot to, it doesn't matter. 
Let's look up some different shoes. I don't know what shoes I wanted to try on. Uh, maybe these. I know they say Zoom Soldier, but they're really the KDs. Kobe's. Yeah, there we go. Let's try these. These look super good because they're so colorful. So we're going to try these. We're going to rock out with these Kobe, Kobe 10 Elites. I'm going to save her. I'm not going to change her name right now. But actually what I'm going to do, I'm keep the changes. And I'm going to show you guys how, now that I have her as a creative player, um, in a little while, I'll show you guys how to add your female creative players to WNBA if you want. It's just if you want, if you want to replace players or whatever. All right, let's go back in. Um, oh, yeah, I need to find my cheat engine. Okay, so this is this cheat engine will be linked in the description. I've had it in a couple of videos now. So if you need help with this, go back to my other videos. You can just type cheat engine on my channel and you'll see some some of this stuff. I just did a video yesterday with this table. All right, so now I'm on the hairstyles. I'm just, I didn't name them for the women. I just put women's in a number. So I don't actually know which ones is which, but I did a whole video that's showing every female creative player, female hairstyle already. So. Hmm. That one looks decent. Anyway, bear with me as I go through these. Maybe I won't do another one. Maybe I'll leave it as it is. Alright, this one really fits. This hairstyle is perfect. I'm using this hairstyle here. This really fits this face. I'm going to check on it. Alright. Yeah, let's back out. Let's look up close at the face. It looks good. Female creative players, they've done a decent job. Except for the fact they don't let you actually do this in game. They don't actually allow you to do this. You have to um, have to jump through hoops on PC just to be able to do it, make it usable, which is what I've done. So yeah, yeah, this will be usable again. The um, link to those female free agency jerseys that make them show up in edit player will be in the description. This cheat engine table to change their hair and hair color will be in the um, description also. Um, let's go over to the WNBA. I've got WNBA season going already. Past it. Got WNBA season going. So we're going to try to add her to WNBA. So I have her in my creative player list. You know what? I'm thinking about it right now. And I don't know... Well, we'll see in a second. Let's see. Let's go to free agents. How do we get to free agents over here? All right, Dallas Wings. All players free. No. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Forgot about that. All right. So edit player is visible here when I select on a player. And I'll show you why. Because I have this, these two boxes selected. Unlock in-game editor with Limnono Trainer. So that's why edit player is available for female players on this video. So if you just have those two options selected, then 
in the WNBA season mode. You can edit players. Now I'll have the I also have a link to this patch of the game that I'm playing. I'm using patch five. I always use patch five. Patch five will work with the cheat table and it'll work with this edit player stuff. Everything will work properly as you always see me going through stuff because I'm always using patch five. I don't use anything after patch five. There's too many patches, man. They release way too many patches. All right, I'm going to unlock game hidden options because I can't find the option to um, add a created player to the roster like in my league. So I'm searching for it right now in the options. Actually, I think it should be here somewhere, but maybe it's not at all. Nope, not there. It wouldn't be there. It wouldn't be in scouting. All right, so I do not see the option to add creative players to the WNBA roster at all. So the only other way, I'm going to keep looking for a quick second. All right, so the unlocking hidden options doesn't matter because apparently there is no way that I can um, add a creative player to WNBA. So I'll have to do it through player DNA, which I can't remember if I save that player DNA. All right, so it doesn't, that player DNA won't come up there. All right, I'm gonna have to back out of this mode most likely. I don't think I saved her player DNA. I just created her as a creative player. And I'm sorry, guys, I'm making this video long, but hopefully you guys who want to do this, which won't be many people, probably be like five people, four, maybe one person, actually. Because uh, I'm not sure how many people play WNBA. Oh, anyway, here's a random chick. Because the one I just created, I didn't save her player DNA yet. All right, I'm not going to save this. I'm just... I need to back out. I actually need to back out. I can untick this option because I don't need the hidden options because they don't have the option to um, insert a creative player in the middle of a WNBA season. So you got to do it through player DNA. So now I've got to go all the way back to my creative player list. Find the, the female character I just created and export her DNA. And I need to do a video on the differences between um, player DNA and create a player, but I actually need to sit down and write all the advantages of both and how you're supposed to use both. Anyway, let me name this file. I'm going to call it female test. This player DNA will be female test because I'm testing, testing it out in WNBA. If any devs are watching this, I just want to remind you guys. Can you guys please tell somebody in charge that uh, WNBA is missing an all-star game and they're missing some type of championship celebration? Like, it could be an on-court celebration. It could be locker rooms like the guys have, whatever. But uh, it's missing both of those. I didn't even find any WNBA all-star jerseys in the game. When I search through the files. Anyway, um, I'm trying to find a player to replace. I'm going to replace via DNA. You know what? The Wings are a young team, so I'm not going to replace anybody over there. All right, this person is definitely getting replaced. So I'm going to go to player DNA and replace her because her rating is very low. And that player DNA that I just saved is I think an 80 overall there she is she's gonna be on the Las Vegas Aces I need to change her name but anyway let's scroll up female Smith there she is age 25 okay I gotta change her photo so I gotta go back in the edit player and I'm gonna pull up that cheat engine um, that cheat engine table again and I'll show you guys once I pull it up, I'll show you guys what to change. So over here, let's scroll all the way to the top. 
and where it says CFID underneath that it has all like all the little portrait IDs just make them match the CFID CFID means cyberface ID so the, since cyberface ID is one I'm just gonna make everything else one then keep changes and return and when I back out it has this um has the game generated portrait all right so that works for me so now the next thing that I need to do is I actually need to go into um practice mode I'm gonna use uh let's see I'm gonna go into practice mode first first let me let me see something okay she's on the team she's not on injured reserve so let's try to put her into a scrimmage so we can look at her in game there she is looks good I know it's a super long video but oh well I got nothing better to do right now just make videos what's up kids what's up kids stop saying shush you don't have to say shh son Anyway, so I'm going to go into, um, hopefully this doesn't bottleneck here. Uh, usually when I start recording gameplay, depending on what codec I'm recording in, what settings I'm using to record, it'll sometimes um, bottleneck my PC as far as recording goes. All right, so I, I chose to unhide the options so that I could make substitutions in practice and also so and also so that I can make substitutions uh, what did I say so I can make substitutions and switch sides so I'm switching sides to the other team now I don't see the character I just had out there actually she's 12th on the list wait what they only have five for each side like the bench team should have the rest of the team on there so you could switch out who you're going against. So that's something they need to add to the game. So I'm going to do a separate video about that. Um, the scrimmage mode. I'm going to do a separate video about that. They need to add a little bit of depth to that, which is something doable. And they can flaunt it as a feature, I guess. Yeah. Anyway, so now I have to move um, that female character I added through player DNA. I have to uh, move her up on the list so that she's in the top 10 players. She's actually like the seventh best player on this team. So moving her up ahead of the backup point guard, putting her in the game. Um, do I need to mess with this? I don't know. Did I need to go back and mess with that? I haven't done rotations in a while. It's been like two months since I actually messed with this screen. Oh, see, now I'm pushing buttons and I can't remember how to use this screen. Uh, oh, man. I don't know what I'm pushing, guys. Uh, you guys can fast forward past this part. Because, um... Yeah, just fast forward to the part where she's back in practice. Or where we're back in practice. Because that's what I'm going to next. Let's see, let's go over to scrimmage. All right. Let's see what we got. Okay, again, hopefully the game doesn't bottleneck. I mean, the game itself plays fine. It's just the recording. Looks like the recording is fine so far. Um, I must have the correct settings on because the recording is not messing up. All right, so I switched sides. And the only way you can switch sides, I think, is to have the in-game hidden options selected through Lumnano Trainer. All right, I just shot with her. I'm just running around with her, not really to play with her but to see her do different animations so I can zoom in on her on instant replay 
I'm, I, I actually need to make an animation mod. I've been meaning to do that. I haven't done one since 2K18, I believe. Yeah, 2K18 was the last time I made an animation mod. So what I do with animation mods, like right here, all the little moves that they do, I just replace the moves that they do with different poses so that when I hit a dribble, um, when I, I'm on the controller and I'm supposed to be doing a crossover or something, I'll actually, the player will actually do some type of pose and I make the ball invisible so that the ball is not in the way. So that that way when I come to instant replay, I can take good screenshots of them doing poses. He's saying this not like that. Girl. Alright, so anyway, so we're at the end of the video. That's how you add a female player into your um, WNBA season. I guess I still haven't done the video where I show you guys how to... Um, like use a roster for well take a WNBA season and go into a second season it's basically just copying a roster over like at the end of the season yeah. you'll copy your um, you'll use Lemnono training copy roster option and you'll exit that WNBA season and then start a new one with the roster still copied and then once you get in there, you'll start replacing older players with new, newly created younger players. Anyway, I'm trying to get a screenshot, a thumbnail for the, I'm sorry, a screenshot for the thumbnail. All right, guys. So all the links will be in the description. You guys have fun with that. I know only, only a very small percentage of people are going to make use of that, but whatever. Uh, I finally got the video out. I'm proud of myself. So, till next time, the goods. I am gone.